Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 most shocking hellbound moments. For this list, we're looking at the most brutal scenes and surprising twists in the South Korean dark fantasy series. We decree that if you watch this, you are bound to see spoilers, so keep that in mind. Do you think Hellbound's demons could be fought off? What would you want to try against them? Tell us in the comments! Number 10. Kim Young Suk Killed on Live TV <laughs> <laughs> the first videos of demonic creatures attacking people shock the world. But four years later, these demonstrations of infernal suffering have become normalized, with religious rituals built around them. When the New Truth Society gets wind of Kim Young Suk's upcoming demonstration, they coerce him into an elaborate ceremony with a live studio audience that includes his own family. It shows that within a short time, people have become desensitized to these hellish events, even relishing what they see as just desserts. Kim Jung Chu's cavalier attitude as he asks about ratings says it all. It's reality TV at its most nightmarish. <laughs> Number 9. Vigilantes beat up novelist Kim Gwang Jin. <laughs> Seeing monsters drag someone to hell is obviously terrifying, but part of what makes Hellbound so shocking is how, well, not shocking some of it feels. We're not talking about the decrees and demonstrations, but about how online hate groups, mobs, and vigilantes form around these events, eventually becoming mainstream. It feels all too plausible, in a way that's jarring given the violent and dystopian nature of the show. When novelist Kim Gwang Jin misinterprets events, Arrowhead members find him, beat him, and make him recant. <laughs> Filming on their smartphones, the teens see themselves as righteous messengers of God's will. But of course, their interpretation of events turns out to be false too. <laughs> <laughs> it's a disturbing representation of how hate online can lead to real violence. Number 8. Puck Jun Jaw's Public Demonstration It was impossible to watch this scene without flinching. A single mother of two children, Puck Jung Ja seems like a good person. Surely the angel that delivered her decree had made a mistake. Or perhaps the police would be able to stave off the demons. In exchange for money that she can leave to her kids, Jung Ja allows the New Truth Society to make her demonstration public, complete with a live audience and film cameras. The police stand by, ready to save her. But no one is prepared for the brutal scene that follows. In fact, we can't even show it all here. <laughs> Needless to say, the demonic trio put her through otherworldly agony before they're done with her. Number 7. Vigilantes Kill Min Hai Jin's Mother By episode 3, we knew Hellbound would be brutal, but we didn't quite know just how far it would go. That's what made this scene so shocking. Min Hai Jin's frail, elderly mother suffers from cancer, but somehow manages to find a reason to smile about it. Credo, 
이렇게 우리 딸 얼굴 보고 있다는 것도 다행이고. After Min Hai Jin helps Park Jun Ja's children escape South Korea to Canada, she becomes a target of the New Truth and Arrowhead. Park Jun Ja의 경우 이미 주요한 증인들이 모두 해외로 도피했고 그걸 도운 경찰과 변호사 단체도 확인되었습니다. When Arrowhead members find her mother alone in the car, they drag her out and ruthlessly beat her with baseball bats. <laughs> One even films the attack on her phone to share on social media. By the time Hygen arrives, it's too late. This show doesn't pull any punches. Number six. Streamer Lee Dong-wook receives the decree. When Min Hai Jin helps Young Che and So Hyung flee the new truth and arrowhead, she takes them to a safe house, the home of a trusted friend. Oh, 그거라면 저한테 좋은 방법이 있습니다. 제가 예전에 인터넷 방송 같은 거를 했었거든요. 어, 고집하고 그만두긴 했는데 지금이라도 제 계정에 올리면은 사람들이 많이 볼 거예요. However, in a twist, this friend turns out to be none other than Arrowhead streamer Lee Dong-wook. As an obnoxious religious fanatic, he used his online platform to promulgate hysteria and violence. So it's a shock to see him reduced to the timid hermit that now helps Soto. In a flashback, we see that receiving his own decree changed him, undermining his faith. Or at least, so it seems at first. Number five, the demons are thwarted. As Hell's executioners picked off targets one by one, they seemed unstoppable. But while Young Che and So Hyung don't send them back empty-handed, they do thwart their intentions. The parents' newborn son Tuffy seemed doomed. And we're not gonna lie, we genuinely weren't sure how far the show was gonna push things here. They did have vigilantes beat an old woman to death with baseball bats after all. We were in for a shock, but of another kind. As Young Che and So Hyung cradle their child, the demons incinerate their bodies instead, leaving Tuffy alive. Either the demons can be tricked, or they're willing to take sacrifices. Number four, Jung Jin Soo reveals he's hellbound. Hellbound takes careful aim at religious hypocrisy, and Jung Jin Soo embodies that theme. For years, he's been preaching the new truth that an angel appears to mortals, condemning them to hell, and infernal executors arrive at the appointed time to finish the job. He passionately teaches that to avoid hell, people should avoid sin. But it turns out he doesn't even believe it all. As a boy, he received a decree himself, despite living what he sees as a blameless life. Past sins aren't why people become hellbound. Jin Su seems almost resigned to his fate, until the pain and horror get too much. <laughs> Number three, Park Jun Ja returns. This short scene was a game changer. Throughout Hellbound's first season, it's assumed that souls bound for hell have received an eternal sentence. 
죄인이 지옥에서 겪을 영원한 고통을 대중 앞에서 보이는 신의 개입입니다. The demonstrations represent what so-called sinners will experience forever in the afterlife. However, season one ends with a shocking revelation. Zheng Jia was consigned to hell before the mid-season time jump. Her public demonstration was used as propaganda by the New Truth Society, which turned the location into a sacred site. But four years later, Zheng Jia rematerializes. This raises a multitude of questions. Was she actually in hell? Did she escape? Was she released? How will the new truth try to spin her return? It's a killer cliffhanger that left us on the edge of our seat waiting for a second season. <laughs> Number two, a baby receives the decree. Until this moment, the idea that there was a connection between Sin and the decrees still seemed salvageable. Sure, Zheng Jin Su claimed to have led a sinless life before receiving his decree, but why believe him? He also thought the whole world should be deceived. So it was pretty shocking when Song So Hyun saw her newborn baby being consigned to hell. This proved for sure that Sin had nothing to do with it. It was also chilling in another way, raising the prospect that we'd see the demons demonstrating the pain of hell on an infant. Before we unveil our top pick, here are some honorable mentions. Jin Hee Jung burns her mother's killer alive. Under Jin Soo's influence, Kyung Hoon's daughter becomes a murderer. So Hyun takes her baby to the new truth. We know characters can make bad decisions, but this was stupefying. Arrowhead ambushes Min Hai Jin out of the frying pan and into the fire. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. The First Demonstration from the outset, it was clear that Ju Myung Hun was in trouble as he sat in that cafe. There was the sweat dripping down his face, his anxious glances at the time, and the conversation around him about executors from hell. <laughs> In a teaser clip promoting the series, we had already seen demons chase him down the street. But we still weren't prepared for just how savage the attack was. The fleeing man is swung into cars and his face smashed into a bus. His implacable assailants beat him bloody and even bite chunks out of his flesh before reducing him to charred remains. It was a brutal way to open the first episode, setting the stage for the rest of the show. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.